Hello. Come to Burrington Coombe. Just to take, just to, just to have a little bit of a walk around and uh, take some nice photos. So, I uh, don't know if you know Burrington Coombe. Bristol Airport is like over there. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 Hmm. Right, you catch me in a river. Partially washing my boots, but also partially because there's a shot up there which I want to get. So let's bear with me whilst I try and get that. come to a different place now. I got bored of Barrington Coombe. It was too hilly and I'm far too out of shape for that. I thought I'd come to my favourite, Stock Hill Woods. I love this place. Whatever season, whether it be autumn, winter, summer or spring, you get the picture. You can always get a nice shot. Mm. Even at night time. See this video with George. Yeah, mm, love it here. It's fantastic. Apologies to my subscribers for my absence over the last few months. Going back to work was hard work. I suppose that's why they call it work. I'm just about to go down a crevasse. Hmm. Hmm. Shit. Ooh, this is cool. Isn't that cool? Right, let's go on the hunt for some compositions. probably can't see what I'm shooting. So I've got a little knife, uh, a little one. It's UK legal, don't worry. But I want to take some nice shots of it in a kind of wilderness woodland. It's not so much wilderness really, is it? It's Stock Hill Woods, but it's kind of nice, woody. I found a nice stump and uh, I'm going to take a picture. So I've got long lens, I can get a bit far away, but get a bit of depth, a bit of background separation, instead of having to use a really high aperture on my 85, which would be lovely, but 
still. Uh, I'm going for a darker, moody shot, so luckily this is quite a nice dark-ish area as in the sun is over there in the trees um, and a little bit higher up in the other, in the canopy. But yeah, I'm just gonna move it a little bit closer. It's gonna be a nice shot. Now what I've gone for, it's quite a close up. Close up shot, stick it in live view so you can focus nicely. Especially at this angle, I haven't got a flippy screen on this camera, so live view it is. Tap the old magnification icon. Helps zoom in when you're trying to focus. We're nicely focused, nicely composed. Let's take the shot. Magnifique. I think. My only thing is, is the knife is made by a company called Whitby. So their logo is a W, but of course I've got the knife sticking in. So it's currently an M. So I need to think of a better way to have it. I've gone for a different, different composition. I'll show you. I'm gonna rest it up against this nice thing. Frame it a little bit like that. Keep the red thing, just maybe move it down a little bit. But yeah, lovely. Fantastic. Mmm, ooh. Yeah. So I'm a bit rusty at this video, Lark. I haven't done one in ages, so uh, apologies and I need a haircut. But, mmm, lockdown. going to break convention. Now I've been here a lot of times and I've never really much explored the other side of the road. So let's go and do that. Some low light, it's getting close to golden hour, obviously it's winter pretty much, so uh, hopefully get some nice pictures, obviously. Hmm. Now would you believe it? I found one. It's literally like five minutes later. Let me show you. You've got the lake whoop, there, two little trees or X trees and this nice tree centralized in the middle. Hmm, lovely. I'm using the floor as a tripod. I'm gonna try that image again because I can't see anything, but I'm gonna put my lens hood on this time. Answered. Hmm. Let's try the polarizer. The reason I want the polarizer is because there's basically nothing in the sky, it's just blue as you can see. And hopefully the polarizer will make the light a little bit 
nicer. So let's let's try that. I might have to do a maybe a couple of exposures and blend them in Photoshop afterwards because uh, I don't want to ruin the reflection on the water. But I will be going down there in a second to try and get some nice reflections. So hmm, let's try this. I don't use the polarizer that much. Um, but it's quite a clever piece of kit, something that you can't easily replicate in Photoshop or Lightroom. So let's try, let's try it. It doesn't really do much. Um, it only really has an effect on a certain type of light, polarized light. Um, and there isn't really much by the looks of it because it's, I don't, I don't really understand it personally, but it's not really doing anything. So that's fun. Uh, so don't, always rush out and buy polarizers luckily i don't really spend that much on mine so and i've had it for years what i'm going to try and do though is lower it down a little bit get a little bit more foreground interest What do you think? Nothing in the sky. Meh, it's what it is. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's gonna to have to be it for today. Time has run out. I have to get back to the car and get back home. So, thank you for watching. I appreciate it's been a fairly short vlog today. So I hope you enjoyed the images from today's video. And don't forget to check out my Instagram. It's linked down in the description below. Oh, I'm so rusty at this video in. So, catch you all later. Don't forget, like, subscribe, all that usual stuff. And uh, I'll see you all soon. Catch you later. Bye.